What's going on guys? Today we are back out on the ice. It's been a while since I've been out on the ice. I've had a whole bunch of mechanical problems with everything from trucks to four wheelers, everything. But that's alright because the ice has just not been good up here in northern Wisconsin. As you can see we're on one of the bigger lakes today. We got a ton of snow. This is one of the drier spots. There's a ton of slush out here, a ton of like layered ice. Um, so it's just kind of, it took a long time to get any kind of fishable ice out here. And you really, it's kind of real dicey for four wheelers and snowmobiles still. Um, so even to walk a long ways, kind of like we did today, which is only a few hundred yards, it was still a pain. So they were out here walleye fishing around a gin clear body of water. And uh, we're starting out fishing in the middle of the day here. And hopefully we get some flags here. We got to get set up. We got a few lines in now. I got to punch a bunch more holes and uh, see what we can do. All right guys, so we're getting rigged up here. And I'm tying my walleye leaders. And uh, one product I've been using a ton on these kind of walkout fishing deals so far this year has been the Pissy Fun backpack. And it's actually a pretty cool backpack. I've never actually used one for fishing before, but in a scenario like this where we're walking a long ways, dragging stuff out, it's nice to throw this on your back. And I basically have all my tackle in here. Um, I got all my kind of miscellaneous terminal tackle stuff here, all my jig spoons, kind of the bigger stuff in here. Awesome products, comfortable, and uh, it's got a strap that goes around your chest, which makes it really easy for walking a really long ways. And I have my entire ice fishing um, basically tackle bag in here, plus all the terminal tackle we're going to need for the day, plus drinks for the day. So pretty cool product. If you guys are looking at checking that out, um, I'll definitely go ahead and link it down below. For the rigs we're running, I always pretty much run the same rig when I'm fishing gin clear water like this, and I like to run 10 or 12 pound fluorocarbon. This is uh, the Berkeley Vanish. I've been using this stuff for a long time in super clear water and it's pretty awesome stuff. Um, you're not gonna break 10 pound test on a walleye. You know, you're not setting the hook crazy hard and uh, 10 pound kind of seems to be about right. Sometimes real late in the winter, I'll go down for real finicky fish in clear water. But as far as the hooks go, um, on tip ups, I always like running treble hooks for the most part and I'm running number eight on some of the bigger suckers and number 10 Gamagatsu hooks. Easily the best hook in the game, super strong. You're not gonna bend stuff out and uh, super sticky. So we're gonna get a few more boards out here and uh, hopefully the afternoon hour helps. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it might be a place here. Okay. Just start pulling real slow. If he wants to pull away from you, got him? Yep. Pull him in. Got a fish on? Yep. Now if he makes a big run, because we're fishing with a white, light walleye line, you gotta let him go. You can pull faster than that, it's just if he pulls really hard, you want to kind of let him go. Which normally happens right by the hole. Oh, well, he's coming in kind of like a walleye. Nice walleye. walleye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, chunker on the ice right away, baby. Give me some. First walleye. It's a nice one, a little chunker. Very excited to be back out here. In clear water, middle of the day, bright and sunny. There you go. Give me some. We're not even fully set up yet. Got him. Another fish on. Ah, not sure if this is a pike or a walleye. It was really burning line, but now it's feeling more walleye like. Oh, some good head shakes. Setting up way up shallow here, and we're going to go into a little bit of basically, you know, how we're setting up for these fish. In super clear water, a lot of guys have the misconception that you got to go super deep to catch walleyes in real clear water. I don't know what we got here. We got a pike. He's getting all rascally right by the hole. She'll let you have him. You wanted the pike. I did. We only got 10 pound on here, so we just want to baby him. But whenever we're fishing these real shallow weeds, pike are always around. Not a, not a big one there. Here, buddy. He's gonna make one more run. Not too bad of a pike. There we go. First pike of the afternoon here. You know, we've been seeing mostly walleyes so far, I think, and we've had a few false flags that uh, um, ran a little bit of line, so I'm sure those were more than likely probably walleyes that are around but you know we're kind of set up anticipating that the evening is going to be the hot time and if we can catch a few walleyes and a few pike throughout the day it's not too bad Does it feel like a walleye yep 
That's finally getting shake. to that prime time. Oh, nice one. Look at that. This is kind of the time of day we've been waiting for here. The sun's going down. We're hoping for a good bite. Let me see him. Decent sized walleye. Anything to say? Um, it's a nice day out here. I'm glad to be out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, another tip up here. All right, as the sun's going down, I think he's just sitting out there with it. Got him on. Feels like a decent walleye. Now, I just moved this tip up a little bit ago. We started having more action towards sundown over on this end of the bar. There we go. Another nice sundown chunky walleye on the beaver dam. First ice up here in Hayward, Wisconsin on some of these bigger lakes. Is the camera light enough to see much? Yeah, I can see. Gotcha. Awesome fish there. We're going to go ahead and pop him off. He might be a, probably a good keeper, and I think we're going to keep a couple today. So we'll go ahead and keep that guy. He's going to be tasty. But a lot of guys, when they set up tip-ups, they don't want to move them throughout the day. And uh, if you can, you know, a lot of times we'll start out with a really big spread kind of as the day goes on, kind of hone in on a smaller area like we're doing now. And our last couple of fish, I actually missed one too, um, came right in this small little grouping we've got here right on a weed edge. All right guys, we are back out here on the ice and uh, we're doing some crappie fishing. Obviously it's super warm out. You can see how the ice looks now. Some water on top of it. The good news is the snow's gone. So when this already freezes, it's gonna be much better ice than we previously had. Um, so I haven't done a whole bunch of videos in the past few weeks, mainly because of this. The snow's been so bad. Ice has not been good in my area. And uh, the little bit of fishing I had did, it uh, wasn't that great for a video. So today we're out here. Cody's gonna start, it's me and Cody out here. We both spent a ton of time crappie fishing in the Hayward area. He's gonna get to punch some holes. We're looking for an evening, some crappie bite. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you guys are gonna come out fishing to check the ice extremely thoroughly, because it will vary a lot. But uh, I'm gonna put the camera down. We gotta start checking some holes for some fish. All right guys, so what I'm gonna be using, um, same rod I fish with pretty much all the time for crappies, especially if I'm outside hole hopping like we are today. It's nice and warm out. This is a 32 inch beaver dam noodle rod. Super soft tip to load up on a bite. And uh, to see that bite, as far as what I'm using for a jig, I'll go ahead and link the rod down below. I'm using the new um, Rattlin Tungsten Google Eye Jig by Acme. Awesome jig, gold's a great color. That's what we're gonna be using today. Tipped with a little plastic. I'll load the reel up with three pound test. It's a pissy fun IC, ICX5, ICX5. Um, I'll link this down below. But super affordable setup. You know, you don't have to spend 120, 200 bucks on an ice fishing rod and reel to get something that works great for panfish. This is an extremely affordable combo that does great. So I'm gonna get after it here. Cody's punched some holes. We'll see what we can do. Bluegill? Oh, there we go. Fish on. Cody's got a nice perch. I've got, I believe, a crappie on. Decent little crappie there. What a nine incher. That's crazy, dude. Beautiful color to them out here. Oh, fish on. We are hooked up on the beaver dam. This one doesn't feel too bad. Definitely a nice crappie. Oh, oh yeah. daily double. We're doubled up. Daily double, boy. Get that one. How's yours? Feels good. Feels like a good one. You got your camera rolling over here? Yeah, it's rolling. You are rolling, boy. Not a bad one. one Good eating crappie two. there. Yours is a little thicker. Midday bite. We're definitely going to keep a few to eat. And that side's about perfect. I always say, you know, don't try to keep the 12, 13 inch fish. And we're on a great bite right now, catching basically a lot of fish like 9 to 12, 12 and a half inches long with some bigger ones in the mix. So late afternoon here, we're going to stick it out, catch a few more. We pretty much just got out here and set up. So we'll see what happens. Oh, I'll watch that. 
You see that bite? <laughs> Looking at a stack of them down there, as you can see. I'm actually using uh, one of the new tungstens I've been fishing with quite a bit this year. And there it is right there. It's that rattling tungsten by Acme. Putting just a little panfish plastic on there. Gold's always a great color. There's a quality Northern Wisconsin eater size crappie. We're gonna get right back down because we've got a good stack of fish down there. Oh, here they come. Racer. Got that one. Fish on. Doesn't feel too bad, nothing crazy big. But when it's 37 degrees out and you're sitting on a big stack of crappies, that is as good as it gets. Super warm out today. Actually, it's been raining kind of on and off all day. Another decent one there. We'll keep him for a meal. Here we go. Got that one. That one shot up right from the middle of the school. Feels like another decent crappie. And that is a fat stack of fish down there. A little tangled up. Another nice one, about a 10 incher there. Beautiful fish. And fish on. A little bit shallower up here. We're kind of fishing a big point that hooks out. And uh, there's another nice crappie up here. Evening time is the right time on a lot of these lakes where fish kind of push up into structure. Not a huge one there, but a pretty nice one. Cody's packing up. We're about to leave and go do some walleye fishing this evening. I'm not sure if we'll film that or not, but that's our last one we're really gonna need for a yeah, meal, I believe. That. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this afternoon. We only had hours or so. We were not out here for very long, yeah. but uh, we have a long winter of Hayward crappie fishing ahead of us. Ice is still firming up. Yeah, I think we should go catch some walleyes or something. So yeah, we're gonna get out of here. I like catching crappies as does anybody else, but yeah. walleyes are way cooler. We have a perfect looking evening, so I'm not sure if we're gonna film it or not. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. We have a ton more ice content coming. I know I haven't posted a whole lot in the past uh, month or so now, but ice is firming up. Be not prepared. Really, not, not We're really. Gonna get overloaded here today, but uh, ice conditions will get a lot better once this water freezes, which it's about to in the next couple days. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content and uh, peace out.